Born and raised in Spokane. I'm fifth generation Washingtonian. My grandfather uh, was in Lewiston and basically married the boss's daughter. So that's how the fixes got into Dodson's Jewelers. Probably 25 years ago, we decided to carry uh, vintage and estate jewelry. That was another real turning point in terms of, of merchandise for us. We needed a few people about 25 years ago who, who would believe because things, things looked a little tough. It's important to stay relevant and have meaning and stay true to who we are. They weathered through some slow times. They were able to keep the classic store but modernize it. When you've been in business 131 years, and I think the, the achievement I feel most is the fact that we have survived a lot of ups and downs. I used to tell people, well, we survived the panic of 1893, so I guess we could survive this most recent recession. I think their success in the community really is demonstrated by the longevity of, of the store and their ability to take a great old brand name and breathe new life into it. There's nothing tougher than retail and retail downtown. Dotson's has been on Riverside Avenue since the beginning. We believe in downtown. We always have. Penn and Deborah would be great role models for young people. Um, they are just so, first of all, smart, um, but also very kind and very generous. With Junior Achievement, trying to create financial awareness and financial literacy, that's important for everybody. I think Penn and Deborah's key to success is the importance of family. In our business, a lot of what we do is about relationships. I think you have to define success in a much different way than simply dollars and cents. I think the most important thing is, uh, are you having fun? Uh, are you treating your employees fairly? Are they happy? Our foundation really is our, our employees. It is really rare when people give and then they just want to give more. We take great pride in being able to support the organizations that make Spokane a better community. I think Penn and Deborah really uh, embody what it is to be um, in business in, in a couple ways and, and to be ethical business people too. I think Deborah and Penn deserve this award because they are salt to the earth. They are rock-solid citizens and they're great examples for our young people.